Is part-time pharmacy actually worth it? In today's video, I go over the pros and cons about part-time pharmacy and whether you should do it or not. Before I get into it today, I wanna know, have you guys considered part-time pharmacy? If you are a part-time pha pharmacist, let me know in the comments about how you actually feel about it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let's start a conversation here. Oh, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's get into the video. Recently, I actually got a question from a fan where they were saying, hey, hello, sir. I've been watching your videos on YouTube and appreciate your honesty. I was wondering why you don't work pharmacy part time and do the rest of the stuff as a side hustle. And that is a great question. I get this question all the time. And to be honest, I don't think part time pharmacy is the worst gig in the world or anything like that. But there are certain things that you need to consider before doing it. And today I'm gonna to give you some of my personal reasons why I don't do it. So let's talk about, before we kind of get into it, let's talk about the number one reason why people ever consider part-time pharmacy. One, it gives them a lot more flexibility with their schedule and by working less hours, they can spend more time with their family or vacationing or whatever they really wanna do. Oh, and another reason that I didn't consider when shooting this video that I'm doing as I'm editing right now is that you actually might not have a choice for part-time pharmacy. If we take a quick look at the job market and all we gotta do is go to Bureau of Labor Statistics, if you take a look at the quick facts, there is a 0% job outlook. Actually, the employment change in the next 10 years will be negative. So you might not have a choice as well. That That is something to consider. And if this is you fam, I got you. I got some pharmacy related career paths that you can go down to kind of um, look for, improve your per current position. Now, for me, myself, there's really three things that I look for for my ideal life. So a lot of time when we go into a career, we hear that it's good, we hear it's sexy, you get really good pay and benefits, but we never take a step back to really analyze, hey, what do we really want in my life? And that brings me to my first point today. Um, the number one thing I care about the most in life is really location independence, right? See, if you're working in a pharmacy, typical retail or even hospital pharmacy, with most jobs, you actually have to be in the pharmacy. So that is the thing that I care about the most is like, I want to be location independent. For example, you might realize I'm not even in my own house right now. I'm actually visiting my um, uncle in Las Vegas. And that actually inspired me to shoot this video last week or two weeks ago. I was actually in Boston with my mom spending time with her right next week. I'm going to Vancouver on this digital marketing retreat. We're going to create tons of content, but you see my point. My point is, is that, you know, when you have location independence, you can go anywhere in the world and work from anywhere, right? And for me, and not everybody wants this, but for me, I like traveling. I like being able to spend time with my loved ones. Since I live in LA and I go back and forth from Boston, I couldn't do that as a pharmacist, even part-time pharmacy. Imagine every single week you have, I don't know, let's say 20 hours, right? Sure, you have time to kind of go back and forth and um, but it's not that much time. Like literally I can control my schedule and just spend however much time I want in a certain location. Right? So that's the number one, that's the number one thing. Now let's kind of go into the second thing. And the second thing I look for in an ideal lifestyle is time independence, right? Being able to control your schedule, you know, at the end of the day, ideally, um, what we're all working toward is leverage or pa completely passive income. That's what we're working towards. But, you know, the next, while you're getting there, it's not like it's going to happen overnight. You know, I do have some uh, passive income assets actually coming to me right now. But, you know, the truth is passive assets assets take time when you work in a pharmacy you still have you're still an employee you still have to request time off right you might have a little bit more flexibility to, about the number of hours you want to work but you still need to request time off which was a real turnoff for me right that's the number one thing when i'm doing digital marketing consulting or if i'm a high ticket closer or copywriting or any other agency type of thing at the end of the day i'm my own boss as long as my work gets done and as long as i'm results oriented 
no one can tell me what to do at the end of the day i'm an independent contractor and um you you choose your own hours they can't dictate what you do and what you don't do so that's the second thing so let's talk about the third thing and i think this is the most important thing to me out of every out of those three reasons i was going to give is really having scalable impact right both financially and um socially as well so the number one thing is um you know, let's talk about finances for a second, right? Here's the thing about part-time pharmacy, right? You're still an employee. You're still capped at your, I don't know, 50 to $70 per hour, right? As a part-timer, maybe even more if you're lucky, right? And here's the th other thing. Typically, as a part-timer, you get very little to no benefits, right? You don't get that 401k. You have to pay for your own health insurance a lot of time, right? So those are the kind of the benefits that you get with a full-time uh, job, right? That's that security. You know, some people are more risk-averse. Some people are less risk-averse. The type of people who go to full-time jobs are more risk-averse, risk, of risk -averse, meaning they don't like risk, right? They like that steady income coming in all the time. But in order to get that steady income, you know, somebody has to take the risk. So you you lose, you cap out and there's no room for scalability right there. And for me, that that is super important. Um, I never like to feel like I'm limited. I, I've always kind of like, I don't know, been an achiever my whole life. And I always love seeing what, you know, I'm per, like capable of. Right. And so I think that's that's important. Having having an income stream that doesn't really cap you out at just like six figures per year, right? The other thing is social impact, right? We're still not solving the social impact. In fact, you probably have less impact than you do if you're going full time. And for me, when I do things like YouTube or do things like when I consult with different businesses to help their brands grow and stuff, oh man, that's the best feeling in the world because, you know, it's not only about that one-on-one -on -one interaction with that one patient anymore it's that i can have a bigger reach to a stronger uh i it's that i can have a bigger reach and that's one of the reasons why i like doing business as well really when you break it down if i were to kind of give a recap of everything really what it comes down to is just living life on your own terms right that is something i learned over these last year or two uh, since i stepped away from pharmacy living life on your own terms to build something much greater and bigger than yourself man it's one of the most rewarding feelings that i wasn't really necessarily getting from pharmacy because that was it, the truth is the reason why i went into pharmacy was because i want to impact so many people i want to help as many people as possible and through these different mediums through entrepreneurship and i'm not saying that you have to be an entrepreneur to have the same lifestyle but for me I mean, I just wake up excited every day. I don't dread. I don't drag myself out of bed. And um, chances are, if I wasn't happy with full time, definitely I would not be happy with part time. And in fact, financially, I'd be in a worse off position as well. Right. Um, those are just my thoughts. I mean, there's no right or wrong solution here. And if you're kind of curious about, hey, how do you really get this lifestyle of you know, living life on your own terms, really at the end of the day, there's really two avenues to go down at, right? So if location independence is really important to you and you're more of a nine to fiver rather than entrepreneurial, so maybe look for a job that kind of lets you do all three. Maybe it's doing managed care and doing QA type of things. There's a lot of different careers out there in pharmacy, which I, I will touch later on as well. Um, I actually have a podcast, which you can podcast episode about managed care which you can check it out i'll leave in over here somewhere all right so if time independence is really really important to you then i would re recommend pursuing a career maybe if you're a little bit more entrepreneurial you can do something like pharmacy consulting i actually did a podcast episode about how to start up your own pharmacy consulting um business with uh blair and uh she's the ceo of farmerpreneur academy you can check it out over here our episode and she can teach you how to use pharmacy as a high income skill and monetize it and add value to the healthcare system or you can just take a regular contract job 
um, as a pharmacist as well. Be a 1099, you can write off your gas, you can write off your food, you can take take advantage of all these things, right? But as a 1099, you have the right to kind of control and dictate your uh, schedule. So really when it comes down to it, it, it just comes down to this, living life on your own terms. For me, these last two years have been extremely liberating and eye-opening of seeing what I'm potential of, right? Having control over my own destiny. See, the thing is, when I was in pharmacy, a lot of time I would just feel like I was going through the motions every single day, right? And I wasn't excited to get out, you know? I I was like, man, we're, I'm just going to leap into chaos and just feel this this feeling of stagnation and that didn't really get me up in the morning right but if you're more entrepreneurial really it breaks down into two different things where you can have increased flexibility right uh first thing you can provide a service right so that's why i've kind of ventured into high ticket closing i have a video on that over here with a playlist and all that all about that world there's thing great things like copywriting i highly recommend neville medora's copywriting course which i'll leave it in the link below uh if you want to start up your own copywriting agency you know those are just a few ways if you're more product based which is a little more tough because you need you need actual a lot of capital to get started up services you don't need that much capital but products you typically do some great vehicles um i would check out Amazon FBA. You could create your own digital course or digital products like my kick ass investing course. So you can check it out there. And, um, or something like real estate, which is really great as well. So those are some ideas. I can elaborate more on it, but I mean, this is why I don't do part-time pharmacy. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it, but you know, if you want these three things, these are three things that part-time pharmacy can't do. And let's be real too. A lot of if you, chances are, if you're coming out of pharmacy school, you have a lot of debt, right? And it's going to be really, really, really hard to make ends meet based off of just one part-time job, right? Um, not saying it's a bad vehicle, but, you know, it really depends what kind of problem you're solving. And honestly, a part-time pharmacy job isn't good for people who want the things that I want. Location independence, time independence, scalable impact and financial uh, scalable impact, both financial and social impact, right? And since this time, I've actually kind of refined what I want in life. So really, in my ideal life, there's four things I look for. And the acronym I use is RICH, as in rich life. And I took this from my friend, Rich and Niche. R stands for remote income or um, location independence. I is income that is scalable. And C stands for cool, creative challenges. I know I cheated, I used three C's there. And the last one is hustling with homies, working with people, being with people that you love, that light you up every single day. For me, those are four things that are the most important things for me. I will not negotiate unless I, I get those four things. So yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Peace.